She looks just like real hair. Hi, I'm Angela, the creator of Silver Linings, and if you're new here on this channel, I review only silver gray, white wigs, hair pieces, toppers, and other times I'll talk about the care of our natural gray hair or other beauty related topics. Now let's get acquainted with Athena by Henry Margou, right here, right now. Well, first of all, the color is 6101GR. So that is a rooted color, 60 is white, and 101 is in the platinum family. So she's going to have kind of an ashy feel to her. Beautifully, beautifully done color. But for me, I'm not seeing enough white or silver to make me happy. And I kind of was hoping I would see that. And I could have, I did, when she first came, I did open the box. I didn't take her out, but I didn't turn her inside out. And I was a little concerned when I opened the box because what I saw was too much gold for my taste. But then I thought, you know what, this is going, to, I'm going to use this wig as a learning experience for my viewers. And here's why. When you look at a reviewer and they're showing you the wig, you always have to take into consideration what's going on with their monitor and their lighting. If there's a lot of light on that wig, or if there's a lot of natural light even on that wig, a wig like this that does have some, that does have some white or some silver or some gray, then the white in the camera or even outside is going to bounce off of those fibers and she's going to look more white than she truly is. This is not silver, gray, white wig territory. This is gold, platinum. If you like the butter colors, she's really more in the blonde gold family. So I just want you to know that because I don't want you to buy her, get her home because she's on my channel, Silver Gray White Wigs, you know, and all that, and then have you feel like I'm, I'm not presenting her. So I want you to know this is a learning moment. This is a teachable moment where you can see something that's gold. Let me hold up Isabella. Now Isabella is by Envy. It's a wig that I just reviewed. She's going to be on the Wig Studio One channel. And look at her compared to the Henry Margot, right? Look at the difference in the color. So Isabella is definitely presenting as a light gray, or I like to call it a vanilla shake or maybe at one of those dandelion things that happen in the spring, you know, that you blow away. So be careful. Be careful. I want to give you an honest review, and I don't want you to get something home and then have to send it back. If you love gold, this is your wig. If you really want the silver-gray-white combination, this is not your wig. Now, I did do Shakerado. But now look at Shakerado. Shakerado definitely has enough white in her that it's sat or gray or silver that it satisfied my need or my desire for that color. You see the difference? Shakerado by Beltress. I love this wig. I love, love, love this color. Although she's not a true silver gray white wig, she has enough in her to meet my needs in terms of color. Okay. Enough said about that. I hope you get I hope you get that. So, if you love gold, you'll love this wig. If you don't want any gold or platinum or yellow or anything like that, but I'm going to keep this wig because I'm, I'm going to, in the future, be holding her up next to other silver gray white wigs that I review. And I, and I love her. I mean, yeah, I, w I will wear her, but I, I would be happier if she was in color 56. So if you're looking for this style, but you don't want any of the gold, go for the 56 color. And I think that you'll and I think that she'll be happy. 
Now let me just check one more thing and see if she is available, what other shades she's available. She's available in True Color 60. She is available in Color 56, which is a light gray mixed with 15% light brown. And she's available in 51, which is a light gray mixed with 25% medium brown. So either I would say the 56 only has 15% brown in it, the 51 has 25%. So if you're looking for lighter but not necessarily white, go for the 56. Um, there's also number 44, which is in the gray family, and that is gray mixed with dark brown. That might be a little bit too dark if you want something lighter around your face. Okay, now let's talk about her style. The style for me is absolutely spot on. I love shoulder length, straight hair. This is very similar to how I wear my hair now. There's just more of it. And uh, she's got that beautiful fringe. It's about six inches at the front of the fringe. She's all layered at the side. You can see that. She's very girly. She's very flirty. She's got I would say average to light density. She's not she's not heavy at all. Here's a heavy wig with lots of hair that I reviewed a couple of days ago. This is Isabella. She's got a lot, a lot of hair. She's very thick. Athena is not like that. She's just the opposite. She's silky, she's smooth, she's light, she's layered, she looks just like real hair. If I pulled her back like this, she's already starting to ride back on my head. Everything rides back on my head, unless I put some it stays. But I'm going to give you a close-up of the hairline so you could see that lace front. Right there. There's my widow's peak. There's all that beautiful knotting. You cannot tell now, my widow's peak, unfortunately, comes way down, but my natural hairline is right here. So what I try to do is pull the wig uh, just up above my widow's peak, and then I put a little bit of it stays right across the top of my forehead, and that holds the wig in place from, from sliding back. And then I'll put a couple of bobby pins strategically placed along the back of the hair, along the back of the head and that will hold her and I'll just feel really secure. But yeah, she is the style. In my book, the style is a 20 out of 1 to 10. I just absolutely love the style. I can't say enough about the style. Let's take a look at the sides and the back. That straight, beautiful she's got a lot of movement. She's beautifully cut. Beautifully cut. I'm going to take you along with me as I unbox Henry Margu's Athena. This is my very first Henry Margu wig, so I'm really excited about this. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. So, of course, as you open her up, you'll be seeing some tissue paper. Now, I did open her up just to look at her color, but I did not, I did not remove the tissue paper. So I'll do that with you. So now, as I usually do before I remove a wig, I like to take a snap a quick picture of how she is shipped so that when I put her in the box, I'm just going to print the picture, lay it right on top of the wig, and then I'll know how to store her um, in the best way possible. So just take your whatever smartphone you have, go to your camera app, and snap a picture 
of how how she lays inside the box and I also look to see if there's anything underneath the wig and I don't see any paperwork so she's in my journal for safekeeping and I'll print that out later okay so again there she is she's wrapped all around the length of the hair is wrapped all around that circular that circular piece that you see down there now she also is these bobby pins these are those nice long bobby pins she is secured by two bobby pins so i'm taking those off now pull her down under your occipital bone get your hands under the front and push her back don't adjust it yet on the wig stage because you have to get a good grip on this you have to find a place to get a good grip it's not so great to do it on the front because that's more delicate but take the sides you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm just going to clip this up so I can see okay now take the sides <laughs> get a good grip and just go right up oh make sure your ear tabs are equidistant they are these ear tabs are very high and then just make sure she's where you want her patty over at patty's pearls always says go four fingers one two three four middle of your brow one two three four and that's about right okay and then just push her press 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 all along that hairline take out the clip press press and kind of just wiggle your fingers up in there it loosens the hair gets it away from the cap nothing too aggressive just kind of wiggle them under there wiggle wiggle and let her get herself affixed to the glue if you've never used it stays please don't worry about using it say it stays it was designed it was designed for prosthetic use so you can trust it on your hair it does not pull your hair out if you use tape tape will pull your hair out so i think the only recommendation for people for tape is if you have no hair that's it it's that easy i'm telling you even if you didn't have thinning hair now my hair is about this thick the only part of my hair that isn't quite this density is just right here in the front which used to be the heaviest part of my hair but i can make it look really full there if you follow me you've seen you've seen how i do that before i did not put any it stays under here because i'm only going to have this wig on while i'm at home i'm not going to be doing any quick movements or dancing or I'll just have it on my head for, for while I'm filming tonight, but that'll be good enough. But if I was going out to work, out to business, out to anywhere, I would definitely, for me, just put a little bit of it stays right under there because we, we don't want that lifting. So there it is. That's how you put her on. She's got that beautiful fringe bang. In my opinion, she looks very real. I wished that I ordered her in 56. Matter of fact, I may order her in 56. So I can show you the difference. How beautiful is that? Come on. Just a quick look at the cap uh, for Athena. You can see that beautiful banding in the front at the bottom of the um, hairline. Beautiful fine knotting. As we go around the side, you're, you're seeing the covered ear tab. There is a metal stay inside that ear tab, so she'll lay nice and flat to your head open wefted on the sides as you can see lots of airspace but still wefts are close together 
And then we have the Velcro adjusters, which I have tightened on the wig to make her a little snugger. Again, that open wefting on the sides and on the back. And then uh, another, of course, the other side, the ear tab with the metal stay. And then a close-up look at that beautiful monofilament top. So it looks like the hair is growing right out of your scalp. Part her in the middle, the right, or the left. She's got a beautiful color standing right in the sun. She's not too shiny. Now I'm going to go stand over in the shade. So here she is in the shade. And here she is in the sun. If you'd like to see more styles like this one, I've done a little bit of homework for you. Click on the card up there in the upper right, and you'll see some more styles that are very similar to this in the silver gray white color family. Thanks so much for watching. If you like, give it a like, hit that little bell icon, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. From time to time, I will go live, and you'll get a notification when that happens as well.